morning, everyone. Linda's back Good there morning, admiring. Back down here. She's admiring back there. She just turned around. <laughs> we are in uh, Utah doing the Mount Timpanagos. Everyone says it a little, uh, excuse me, a little differently. Um, we're about a mile and a half in. Already delayered and out of breath. Typical for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so we're not sure how long this one is. We've seen different, couple different uh, things. Yeah, but uh, it's all uphill for at least seven miles, and then we go from there. But um, actually, this is a bad view. We'll take a couple pictures, but it looks yeah. a lot like um, uh, Glacier National Park with the scenery and the rocks and the colors. But um, I don't know if you can see. Yep, back there, uh, a little bit of sunshine peeking through. So any other thoughts right now? No, no, so far so good. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm, I've been picture taking just to <laughs> keep it in my, uh, in my head for the future, but it's gorgeous so far. Yep. All right. We'll see you up there. I don't know if you could see there's like a little tree it looks turn like it a tree a little more. more turn it a little no it's back behind me uh, no wait up there somewhere back there it's no up there anyway um the trail pretty much we can't see past right here and it's already really really steep, steep drop offs like and narrow and loose rock. oh there's the trail right there that's where we just came from. Oh. <laughs> no, that's where we just came from. Anyway, so we, um, we're we going to call it a day just to be safe. But, you know, we're not complaining about these views here. No, not at all. But, yeah, we just want to be safe. We know when to call it. Um, 
we're a little disappointed, but you know what? It's better to have story, stories to tell about it. Live so another day for another hike. <laughs> and plenty of people are doing it. It's just beyond our, our uh, comfort, comfort zone. Comfort zone. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. We'll, uh, we'll see you down there. Bye. Bye. So we are just uh, finishing up here on Mount Timpanogos. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. So, um, yes, I'm sorry for all the locals. Um, but what'd you think? Fabulous. Just um, <laughs> absolutely beautiful um, mountains, the colors, the colors. of fall, um, just everything about it. This, the views from above. Uh, I mean, just gorgeous. Yeah, we... Uh, I made the call to uh, turn around before the actual summit. We went to between the, um, saddle, the, uh, and the saddle and the summit. I was a little scared. Not It wasn't hard. It wasn't the elevation gain. It was truly just rocks slipping in one bad slip. and um, you're, you're down the mountain. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's not worth the risk sometimes. Yeah. We saw mountain goats and we were higher than mountain goats. So yeah. that might tell you a little something. But beautiful trail what else did we see a badger a badger that's, really that's got some great pictures of the badger yeah so overall great trail love it highly recommend it and uh, we'll see you next time bye Good morning everyone. We are out here at Trial Lake Loop. Uh, we just passed Trial Lake. We're about a mile in. Um, we're just outside Camas, yeah. Utah. I think that's how you say it. Um, but we saw a lot of deer on the, out, road, um, in. On the road coming Through in. The Probably about a dozen. At least, yeah. So um, just a word to the wise if you're driving in the dark, just be careful. Or anytime really, just be careful. Um, we did try to start near notch lake is that what it was yeah the notch lake, um the upper the lot. upper part because this is a point to point um unless you have a four-wheel drive vehicle we would not recommend it we have all-wheel drive and we turned around um 
the, about the a tenth of a mile in. The holes and divots were just too big for uh, for the car, even though it was all wheel drive. It's just a small SUV that wasn't enough. Yeah. So um, so far so good. It's pretty chilly out, but um, right along the lake there, there's only one other person. He was fishing. So um, we're anxious to see what today brings. We have no idea, but um, the good thing is we can turn around whenever because it is a point to point. Um, anything else you want to add? No, nothing else. All Hopefully right. we get to see some critters. Yep. See you out there. Bye. Hey everyone, we are just finishing up on Trial Lake uh, Loop, I guess you could say. I don't know, we kind of added a bunch of miles um, as we started here. This is Trial Lake behind us. Um, I kept wanting to say trail. Trail Lake <laughs> Loop Trail. No, um, but it was great. The, this whole side was beautiful. The last, or uh, the first, uh, what, three-ish, three and a yeah. half? No, actually, like five miles was really beautiful. Yeah, yeah. The actual, like, it's a yeah, um, end to end, point to point trail. It's called Notch Mountain Trail. Is the point to point. Um, but we started over here at Trout Lake. But and we yeah, got to see mountain goat. Yeah, this um, one. like 
half a dozen at least of them. Yeah, yeah. I, I really enjoyed this half over starting here um, versus the other trailhead um, up the road, which is it looks like a lot of people park there to do hiking. Um, this half over on this side was um, much more beautiful in, yeah. in my opinion. Uh, Wall Lake is on this side as well as Ibantic which was really beautiful too. Yep. And then the other side, the lakes were, uh, they were pretty dried up. So um, Clegg, I think it was, was the yep. only one that wasn't really dried up. The other one's Notch and um, what was the other one? Uh, Dean. Bench. Bench. Bench, Dean. they were all dried up, pretty dried up. So yeah. um, I'm sure you guys saw that from the photos. But, um, you know, overall, this part was much better than the other half. And maybe yeah. if there was water in the lakes uh, much more than there was, it would be beautiful too. But um, we highly, highly recommend at least doing this section. This section, yeah. And at least do an, an out and back if uh, you just yeah. want to put some good miles in. You won't be disappointed. Yeah, definitely not. All right. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.
just finishing up on the Lake Blanche Trail. Um, it was about a quick eight miles. Well, not quick. Didn't feel quick. Um, eight miles. We did a few other lakes on the backside. Lake Florence and Lake Lillian. Florence, the middle one, was really yeah, pretty, I thought. Yeah, that was the prettiest. Nicest backdrop. Yeah, so uh, it is super, super crowded. How many people are you thinking saw it? Like 100 people, I feel like. I'm I not even know, kidding. But thank it goodness was a we lot. started um, before dawn with headlamps and all the crowds were coming up as we were coming down. So amen to that. Yeah, yeah. And what did you think of the trail? I loved it. I mean, right now, this time of year, the um, the colors in the trees, autumn, it's just gorgeous. Probably one of the best scenic ones in terms of colors that we've probably ever experienced. Yeah. Or close to it, at least. But yeah. definitely one of the top ones, if not the top. So overall, great, great trail. Um, pretty intense in the beginning, but, you know, it's always worth it. So uh, we'll see you next time. Anything else? No, that's All right. it. See, see you then. Ya. Bye. Bye.